Hello everybody and welcome along to the next episode of the RNG My Team Career Mode on F122. Today is going to see the Azerbaijan Grand Prix around Baku. It's actually one of my favourite circuits on the calendar, I've got to be honest. Um, I think it produces great racing and I actually enjoy driving it myself as well. But the RNG gods need to start being nicer to us. Recently they've just purely been buying the most expensive upgrades. We've been, getting, we've been buying one upgrade per race. We've not been getting one upgrade per race on because, of course, some some races, you know, if there's only a week gap or something, we miss them. Uh, we need to start buying the, the, the discounted upgrades and actually getting them on the car and getting a bit of luck. So, fingers crossed, with that 1,670 resource points, surely we can get at least two upgrades with that now with all the various discounts we've got. Let's get into it. Right, take Callum. Right, come on there, guys. Let's crack on. So, as I said, 1,670 resource points right now. I want front downforce. I just don't want to spend 1,000... Actually, can we even afford that? We can't even afford that. Hold on. Oh, we actually can't even afford that. Very good. All right. Well, unfortunately, when we can't afford an upgrade, what we have to do is add a save points option. <laughs> if our luck continues, it'll be save points. But something cheap would be nice. Something cheap. Something cheap. Weight redistribution. I can't recall how cheap that was, but we'll take that, I guess. Weight, weight, weight redistribution. I didn't say it. Okay, 1,000 points. That leaves us 669 points left. Okay, well, the tyre wear one would be a good one to do. So, tyre wear or save points are two options. Tyre wear, I think I'd rather the tyre wear upgrade just to get that out of the way. Which I think it is going to be. Please stop. Yes, it is. Tyre wear. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, so, yeah. The, the question was whether we rush it or not, which I'll, uh, well, which I'll leave up to the wheel. Rushed or standard? That's the two options. I would rather go for standard because rush is like a 40% chance of failure. But it is going to be rushed. We are going to rush it on the car and keep our fingers crossed for that then. 80% chance for standard, but 43% chance of rushed. It would get on time for Canada, which would be nice, but big old risk there. Big old risk. We still can't afford it. What's going on here? Like 13 points short. Right, well, just give me some more shafts. I love it. I love it. Oh, hello. Part of the question of attendance in today's meeting, aerodynamics department. The head of, head of the aerodynamics department has stated their opinion on where we should take our development next. They brought up some good points, but it goes against recent on-track feedback. I mean, except us. I employ him to be smart about aerodynamics. Why would I override him on that? Anyway, we've now got 949 points. What can we, can we afford now? We probably would choose the rear downforce because that's quite a good discount. It'd be a good upgrade if I could freely choose, but I can't. Weight reduction's not bad as well. That's probably would have been my second choice. I think the only reason I would have done is because it wasn't so discounted. Uh, again, we've got a choice to rush it. Again, I don't want to rush it because 44% chance versus 19. Standard rushed. Oh, I felt rushed wrong. Doesn't matter. Please give me standard. Is it going to be standard? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, that's good. That's good. I didn't want to. I didn't want to rush that. We can't rush all of them. It's going to, we're going to fail. That'd be on for the British Grand Prix. Should be a good one to get for that. No upgrades for us on this race. And yeah, look, it's just savage. We're now the ninth fastest team. Both Alpha Tari and Williams have both overtaken us. It's savage. Their their upgrade rate is insane. It really is. All right, come on. Then no upgrade for this race. Heads why we're the ninth fastest team now. It's not good. Hey, go straight on track. Okay. All right, come on. Let's get a bank with then, so we're in the lower wings right now, so we should be wrapping in a straight line. Oh, we've got some traffic. Okay, it's a Ferrari, hopefully we'll be quick. On a clerk. Give us a little toe to the line, buddy. Would appreciate. Would appreciate. We need it at the moment. Not the performance we need in the car at all. I actually might get a bit of uh, slipstream from Charles here. We're going to get loads of slipstream. This is the dream. We're never going to beat this sector again. Look at this. That's going to give us loads of lap time. Thirty-nine zero. And I will say Slipstream is not nearly as powerful as in real life. If that was real life, I would have just gained half a second. Still P5 behind Verstappen ahead of only the Haases, so not many people have done a lap yet, of course. Not bad. Ah, don't want to hit the inside curb. Two tenths up though. Oh, it should have been a nice exit, but it will spin. Still a nice exit, but could have been better. I'm hitting the curbs. Nah, look at that. Lost the tenth pretty much for that final turn. Good exit though. Actually, no, I did say a tenth or two, didn't I? But look at that. Look at that. We're barely going to be up. Oh, we're up though. Go again. Better exit that time. Look at that. Tenth up already. Come on. Let's keep it going. Show it off your rest to keep going as well. Four percent tyre. Not too bad. That's deep. Oh, wow. A big hit with all that. Across all the time we just gained. Okay. So, we know there's two and a half tenths in it. 
I'm going to stick with the setup. I like it now. It, it is a little bit skatey skill still, but I like being so quick in a straight line. I would like to be at the back of the AI pack if possible, but I am at the back. Perfect. Good timing. There you go. We've got a whole like, minute to spare. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One final run then, guys. P12 at the moment. And I will fall down from there as well. People will improve on the final run. So I need to find some time here. Nice. Nice. Didn't feel amazing, but we're a tenth and a half up already. Come on, let's keep that up. Oh, it's four. This is good. Oh, idiot. What am I doing? Still find some time, but we lost like two tenths. Need more with that mistake. Ah, uh, man. I mean, three tenths is still a decent game. I'm not that upset. When it could have been half a second or more, it is a bit disappointing. Where does it put us? P13 only. I bet we were only... I bet two more tenths would put us like P7 or something silly. Yeah, sure enough. We're only half a second off pole. Two more tenths would have put us P9. I feel like that's about right, to be honest. Alpha Tower should have overtaken us. Right, we've still got that possible chance of rain at the end. Look, 20% chance of rain right at the end. If that comes a bit sooner, there could be, you know, the next step could be 40, 50, 60, 70, 80% chance of rain. And if that comes in a bit sooner, you never know. It might just rain a little bit at the end, but we'll see. Let's see if there's any... Penalties, we are now okay, P13, now no penalties. Board, right, we need to randomise though, unfortunately, the start tyre, because the softs finish. are not going to be a good start tyre. Look how quickly they wear. So let's hope we don't get soft tyres. So, not softs. Anything but softs. Anything but softs. Anything but softs. Oh, no. Right in the middle of soft. Very good. Very, 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 very good. Right, brilliant. Hmm, can we make the softs last? i tell you what, if we can do nine laps on the softs, We'll then need to do 17 laps on the mediums. That's possible, but it is a long way. And it, according to that, the softs will be like, well, that looks like basically 80% warm when we box. We'll go, we'll go mediums, but realistically, probably more likely to be that, to be honest. Okay, guys. 13th on the grid. I'm not overly happy with that grid position, but I'm not too depressed about it. And to be fair, I actually think it's about right where we end up in the end. I'll do, not point two. Keep rolling a bit too slow recently. Sure right, come on there, guys. Everyone else is on mediums. We should be able to get a competitive start, but we're not very good at them, as we know. I think what we do is we essentially use too much power. We need to let it bog down a bit more than we have been doing. So let's try that. Best start I've ever had against AI. Best start I've ever had against AI. Oh, a bit of a lock up there. But let's get a stop, though. I said P10 by the end of lap one. Look at that. We're already up to P10. Make that P9. Oh, wow. What? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flash that back. That's ridiculous. I, I think they must have been maybe side by side ahead. Yeah, they were side by side ahead. My punishment for that is I'm not allowed to attach, attach your attack, George Russell. My punishment for using the flashback there. It's not ideal because that was a free overtake. All right, can we get any down here now? We are quick in a straight line. The AI is so good on the exit, so look. Ah... Uh, Break early. I'll take it. I'll take it. Up to P9. Maybe capitalise. Not into this turn. The next turn. A good run through here. Be close enough. Ah, he's defending slightly. Ah, it just felt too risky, that one. Felt too risky. Started against it. Let's sit behind. We've got no wing levels. We're already, already gaining more than I predicted for lap one. Because we actually had a good start for once. That was, that was by far the best start I've ever had in the game. Particularly against AI. I've, no, I've never actually matched AI off the start, no matter what the tyres are on. Look at this, look at this. We should be able to gain a few, hopefully. Although, that's say Gasly has dropped back from Albon a little bit. Oh, no. Whoa, come back to me. Jesus. That was a big old slide. Oh, my word. Plowing all along to gain positions there. There was no chance. That took so long to come back to me. We should be able to fly past Russell without any issues. Well, that was no idea. We should have gained a position there. Instead, we only just end up maintaining. You have to race them in a very specific way. You can't race them naturally, as we found out in two player three. You just can't race them as you normally race them, which is what I always try and do. Because that's what I want. I want to race them like they're humans. That's the point. They're supposed to be good enough that, to some extent, you can race them like humans, but you just can't. That's fine. Right, let's work on Gazi now. Take two this time. Oh, careful. Think we're okay. Okay. Not the rules been that time. A lot more caution on the power, because this should be close enough, you think. We're really quick in a straight line. We've got lots of ERS. Side we go. That said, not as quick as I thought we'd be in a straight line. I've burned a lot of ERS to get here. ERS is now enabled. Okay, right now we have got soft tyres. They've got mediums, which is why we're able to be so much quicker than them right now. Battling slow tyres out. Oh, Albers made a mistake there. Can we? Do we? Dare we? Oh, it's running a bit deep. Hold it on the outside. Getting a bit of room on the exit. Yeah, we've done. Unfortunately, it might cost us DRS on the cars ahead, so maybe it wasn't worth it. 
again. Set the wall, but only just across this time on the exit. Point one, we might be able to get it. Set your points after these next two turns. Try and move it on for a bit, but I don't dare leave on through this one. It's a bit too hairy. I think we're going to get it, you know. We are going to get DRS. Amazing. We've got a lot of DRS to do it, but it's going to allow us to get a lot more straight line speed, so that's been worth it. Okay. All right, let's just calm down a bit now. We're in the fight for P5. That's a great result for our current car performance, so let's just try to look after the rears more than we have done. Certainly been burning them too much. Our tyre's going to go off pretty darn soon, and suddenly the AI will be rapid. So I just now just want to sit here, save a bit of everything. Oh, a bit of wheels going the exit there. Yeah, that one's pretty close stuff, but I don't think it's close enough. I don't think our front's going to get the RS. That allows us to stick with it even easier. Yeah, I do think I'm going to have to take the hards, unfortunately, guys. I don't think I can go unless I want to do a two-stop. I don't think I can go. Mediums, the the I've just burnt the rears too much and battling. Uh, what do we say? We said lap, was it lap nine, actually? Was it might be okay, you know, still, despite the tyres, the rears. If we can get to lap nine, we can go mediums to the end, and we actually might be able to do that, maybe. We need to, yeah, desperately look after the rears, which is what I'm doing. So if we can just stick, just barely stick with lock on. Whoa, that's the rears. Bit of flag. Look at that. All the smoke, but he's just... Yeah, in everyone's way. But yeah, that big snap was not ideal for me. Oh, stop hitting the wall. Winged it away a bit again. Oh, that's a bit through there to be safe. Still get DRS just. So let's try some safe some DRS so we can be ready. Oh, safety car. Got a box, got a box, got a box. Got that confirmed. Oh, I so much there. Oh, that was perfect time for us. George Ross was out, caused the safety car. It's definitely an early pit stop. We are going to go media. Oh, media. No, get it. Go hard, 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 hard. Hard. I'm going to go hard. Mediums is a bit too early for mediums, I think. I might go regret that. I might go regret that last minute decision uh, to change, change of mind there. I was going to go mediums thinking, oh, we're only, we're only a couple laps short, but we were a whole three laps short. I know we can cruise behind the safety car. Ah, was that the wrong choice? Should we have gone for it and risked the mediums? I think we should maybe should have been braver then and gone for the mediums. Just felt a bit early. We were already a bit marginal on tyres. Felt a bit early. Oh, well, no one else boxed. That should enable me to really close up on the pack. Too hard, we don't want to burn the tyres. Oh! Uh, oh my god, he almost drove through me. I hope it's not in this lap, although we are catching anyway. It's going to be the end of the world if it is in this lap. We should still catch the pack, to be honest. AI do kind of weird restarts. They, they do slow down a bit more than safety car, but not much. Come on. And a good restart here. We've got some good straight line speed. We've got fresher tyres in the cars are ahead. Slow ones. Perez has got much better tyres behind, of course. Are we not going yet? Go on. Uh, I assume it's not to the line I can ever take. There. Right, let's go. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? That, that's... Oh, obviously, I didn't, didn't need one there. But that sort of situation... Well, it's good to have flashbacks against AI because weird AI is like that when they just kind of dart around stuff that just wouldn't happen in real life. It only happens because they're robots. We've actually made a couple of overtakes there. I do need to get past these guys if they're going to slow each other down that much. Oh, back down a bit last second. Let's slow each other down so much. We don't want to lose too much time for leaders. Can we get him here maybe? Easy. Easy move. Up to P16. Oh, that's a nifty there. It's a bit, a bit dodgy with dirty air. Yeah, our car just isn't very quick in a straight line. The fact we're getting this much on Tictum. We're only quick in the AI because we've got low down force setup on, but I think our actual car isn't great in a straight, doesn't want that overtake there. Go ahead down now, gap these guys ahead. A little, little gap being formed behind. Which is good. We are obviously planning to go to the end here unless we get a late safety car, in which case we'll go to soft. Okay, Latifi ahead's got an issue. What's the issue, I wonder? Yeah, Latifi's slow. I think we can probably get both of these guys. Try and box you back in if we can. Oh, the TV. Oh, my word. Bit of contact there. Very aggressive move over by me. Oh, my word. That was spicy. Bit deep again. Whoa. We'll spin over the curb. That was probably too aggressive, to be honest. I didn't expect the TV to come all the way. So, last second, I just went for it. Oh, bit of, bit of a side swipe on the Aston Martin. That was... That could have ended badly. Double overtake in the end. But that was a spicy one. Uh-oh. He's got DRS on us. This could be a worry. Oh. This rear is so skatey. I may, might be able to do it. Wow. Okay, I'm quite significantly faster at this point in the race. Of course, I'm burning to be arrested to do this, but even so. 
Right, I can't get this lap though. I'll have to get them next lap, so let's just chill out a little bit. Not burn too much ERS this time. Catching the car ahead by around five tenths a lap. Whoa, rear lock up. You often get those. That just shows the lack of rear downforce that I'm talking about. Oh, a little brush with the wall there. Yeah, I'm doing so at the moment. Let's try a bit quicker than I am doing. Um, I'm not about that I wanted to be. Okay, everyone's starting to pit now, so probably wise decision there not to burn everything. Maybe get another next straight. Okay, I'm going to lead this race, guys. All these tyres hold on. Alright, what's the gap going to be to the next quickest car? I think we should box this lap. So, no, sorry, should box this lap. Just use a bit of ERS just to make sure we can get it regardless. Yeah, there he is boxing. Just a slipstream just before he hits the brakes as well. Alright, we do lead the race. 6.6 .6 seconds to Alonso. They're all on hards as well, okay. Interesting. Only 9 seconds to the clerk. He's got one of the fastest cars in F1. We just need to keep it calm. Now we're only halfway through the race. We've boxed early in all of them, of course. So our tyres will be a lot more warm than them at the end. Look after the rears in this stint. It's another race, but again, I'm pretty sure this, this is our first race win last season. Which is ridiculous. It's round like, what is it, maybe 7? On 7 the season, we won it. With a brand new team. It's ridiculous. But you can kind of see wide today. I think there was also a bit of luck with a bit of weather and safety cars and stuff last season. But it's kind of similar this season. Okay, last lap time was a 143.0. Oh, we've been seven tenths in the last lap, okay. Now, that is a worry, because although we are quick in a straight line, we're not ridiculously quick in a straight line, as we've seen, particularly on some of the quick cars in the straight, which seems to be the Ferrari and the LP. Yeah, we need to be in the 42s. We, we were nowhere near it. Last lap time. Okay, so the last lap time was 43. a 7. What? Getting over a second on me last lap. It's a bit of a worry, isn't it? We're looking after we as much better in this sit, though. A little bit more cautious on the power. They are going to be on us without too, with, you know, not, not not long now. Essentially, what I'm trying to say. I think he's still over a second lap quicker than me. That's ridiculous. He's going to easily pass the overtake, uh, catch and overtake me. He did burn a bit of ERS that last lap though, but we have got quite good ERS systems. So I'm sort of purposely burning a bit of it. But if they get in DRS range, I think they might be able to just overtake me. To be honest, I am quick in a straight line, but DRS is mighty powerful in this circuit. When they're a second lap quicker than, than us. Not sure there's a lot we can do, to be honest. Okay, I think we can hold on for one more lap. This lap, plus one more. This time, next lap, he'll be right with us. Yeah, and the clerk's actually lost out. The clerk's dropped back. What's happened? He must have made a mistake, because Norris is all over him. Norris might even get him here if he didn't get the RS. Norris is going to get him, I think. Well, that's not... I need, I need them to battle a bit to keep him away. That's not going to happen. We're going to have eight laps of defending for this race win. But when there's a second lap difference, I'm not too confident I've been able to do it, to be honest. But the Ferrari's been side by side for so long. I've really cost themselves time. That's what I was hoping they'd do with Alonso. At the moment, Londo's looking great to win this race, I've got to say. He's rapid as straight line. Next lap, he will be all over me next lap. He's about a second lap quicker. Nine tenths that last lap. Well, that has come down, as I said, so maybe it's tie wear. You never know. I'm glad I went for hard, you know. I don't think mediums would have lasted too well. Tell you what, I don't know how much better this lap's been for us, but we have managed to keep him away. I don't know, that's not, not over yet. We might still get DRS, but one more corner. We should be able to keep him out of DRS range for another lap. That's a surprise. I thought it would be like six cents away at this point. We've actually got a bit quicker than in this lap, I think. Is that us just pushing a bit harder, using a bit more ERS? I don't think I did really burn anymore. 42.8, same lap time. His lap times have dropped off massively. Well, like eight tenths a lap over the last like five laps. Which is the primary fact that we've also found a bit of time. Can we just keep him away? Love to keep him out of DRS range, it just saves me the stress of having to defend. Yeah, we're maintaining the pace to him. His tyres have really fallen off. Yeah, no DRS again, but he has closed in a bit this last lap. Still no DRS, of course the longer he doesn't get DRS on us, the less likely he's to overtake us, because he's got less and less laps to actually make the move. Come on. I thought it was over at one point, when I saw they were over a second lap quicker. Looking a lot more like it now. One more lap, Leclerc might attack him. They slow each other down massively. We do need to keep Alonso away. If we give Alonso DRS, of course, Leclerc won't be able to attack him. Definitely burnt some more DRS this lap, but I'm, I'm doing it because I'm thinking if Leclerc attacks him, he might lose two seconds. Yeah, he's not going to get DRS, but the clerk isn't close enough. I think Alonso might just be too quick in a straight line, you know. It's absolutely rapid in a straight line. I don't know if the clerk's going to be able to attack Alonso, no, you know. I think it's just up to us to keep him away. Is his tyres getting worse and worse, or is he kind of levelled out a bit now? Because his tyres got, like I said, something like eight tenths per lap worse over the course of five laps, which is ridiculous. Again, the clerk's there with the DRS range, but nowhere near close enough. Ocon's closing as well. The, the Alpines are rapid. Keep it up. It's very marginal. One mistake and he's on us. But we're doing it right now. DRS is powerful, so I'm trying to desperately keep him out of DRS range. I mean, you barely even call it a mistake what it would take for him to get DRS. Him just being a couple of tenths away, it's just a run a metre too deep. I think Alonso's done a slightly worse lap, I've done a better lap. Okay, Alonso's and the clerk's closer, but I don't still think he's close enough. We'll see. 
Depends if, if, if Leclerc burns some ERS here, he'll get him. No, he didn't quite get side by side, unfortunately. He's very close. Will he get him here? Again, if they go side by side for a couple of corners, we're looking great. Fortunately, they didn't battle behind. I think Lonzo is just too quick in a straight line. Deep. Oh, that's the sort of mistake that I didn't want. Not going to cost me a ridiculous amount. I managed it quite well, actually. Oh, my word, that was close. This is intense. This is intense. Three laps to go now. That's all it is. What else we got in our locker? Oh, a bit of a snap there. So probably start pushing. You see that tiny bit wheel spin now? The rear is still pretty skatey. I've just got used to it. Oh, very nearly side by side then. Very nearly side by side. They go side by side in one time. It's GG. Unless it's just a clean move. I tell you what, he's very close now. Will he get the exit? Ah, looks like the clerk didn't. No, he's lost half a second on that exit. He's done badly behind, but it's the two Ferraris. That's going to allow Alonso to push. Not worry about the Ferraris behind. That's not good for me. Coming on to the final lap of the race, but remember there's that long one to start finish line and they burn a lot of ERS on the final lap. I actually managed to save a bit of ERS. Last couple of laps, that little bit of leeway that I, that I had. Oh, Norris is there now actually, but still not close enough to attack him. Final lap of the race. We've, we've led half this race. That's a bit deep. We've led half this race. We need one more lap. One more good lap, but again, they'll start burning ERS now. They'll have saved it to use on this lap. Alright, it's all about me versus Alonso now. If he does get within a second, or if I make a mistake here could still beat us. There's a long, long run from the final turn to the start okay, finish line. Still got half a second. He's not been nearly as quick as I thought he'd be on this final lap. We've got, we've got more ERS than we have had for many laps. It's not even been too hard at the moment. We might even get DRS on us. I thought sure we'd get DRS on us in my last lap. But that is to be ERS to push. Close to us. But he's not going to get DRS, I don't think. No, he's not even going to get DRS on us, guys. We're going to win the race. I if the engine dies now. But it's not going to. We are going to win the race. We have to wait for confirmation. But there it is. Let's go. P1, baby. P1. The safety car came at quite a good time for us. We went soft to hard. Box under the safety car. Oh, let's go. Let's go. What a race. It's very exciting, isn't it? You come to celebrate with me, haven't you? It's very exciting. Very exciting. Yes. So, I know. You happy for me? Yeah, definitely Fantastic got a bit lucky with strategy. Um, I think we drove well, though. There was no big mistakes. There was no wing damage or anything like that. RG Racing then. Still P6 in the standings. It's not made a massive difference. Look at the, look at the absolute gulf to P7. We've got 78 points. P7's got 9 points. 69 nice points uh, clear of AlphaTauri. P6 is, is pretty much already sewn up. Um, not literally, but uh, it's looking good. But we're actually... Actually, I think Alpine probably outscored us still, did they? 18, 28. Yes, they did. Unless my teammate got points, which I doubt. No, he didn't. Oh, the upgrades failed. Of course it has. What failed? The major weight redistribution failed. So much is failing. I know we rushed it, which also wasn't our choice. The RNG system is choosing expensive upgrades, then it's rushing them, and then they're failing anyway. Everything that's random in this career mode is going wrong, it seems. But anyway, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. Uh, next episode will be recorded next week on the stream, so look forward to that one, uh, which is going to be the Canadian Grand Prix, where we're keeping our fingers crossed for that major rear downforce, the rushed major rear downforce to go on the car. And uh, yeah, other than that, guys, I'll catch you next stream. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.